Dixon. And I am Arlene Owen. Welcome, Welcome to, to Azar. This is our first episode and I'm so excited. Nervous, but excited. This has been in the pipeline for a little while now. Cathy, how are you feeling? I am feeling a bit nervous, really, like you, as you said, and a bit excited. Excited, I would put it. Really, really good, yes. I love that word. Yeah, so, viewers, we want you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to press that notification button. You don't want to miss an episode. Definitely it's going to be really good. What do you want to tell them about Azar? Yes, Azar. You all love that name? I love that name. Azar means to share, to support, to encourage, to help, to lend aid. Yes. And this is what we want to do at each of our episodes. We want to encourage you to be your better self. Yes, yes. Before we go any further, we want to share a little bit about our background. We are from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. And I am Kathy Anderson, as you heard before. I am married for the past 30 years with three children, three daughters to be exact, 29, 26, and 20. What about you? I have been married for 27 years. I have two beautiful daughters, Destiny and Dana, 21 and 16. And presently we live at Deep South. Well, I live in the North. I live in the North, and, but we both came from the country in a place called Tableland. And it was a beautiful time. Let's tell them a little about our cast. We have been friends for 45 years and more. And we have been friends, calling one another, sharing things with one another. And where we live in South Tableland, we live two streets apart. And those were the days before it had cell phones. We didn't even have, have one of those portable boot phones by the police station or anything like that. Nothing like that. But we had our own way to communicate. That's right. I would show it from my house, two streets away. Ali! And she, you would hear her answer me back. And I would say, up the hill. And you know what that meant? Run up the hill, we're ready to go somewhere. Or I would say, Ali, come. And she knew what that meant. Come, I have something for you to eat. But the funny thing about it is that all the neighbors knew what our conversation was happening. But it was fun. It was. So it was. And you know, we want to remember at this point, one of our aunts, everybody called her sister, but her name was Olive. Yes, Olive you know, aunt. She's well known by, we call her sister. But because of her, and she will take us to church every Sunday. And we have to walk a mile and a half. And she will make sure that we sit in church, but we like to talk in church. We're always talking. And she will pinch us or take the Bible and hit us. And say, hush, him out, listen to the word. But because of her, we met the Lord. So we want to say we thank her for that influence in our life. Yes, and I also want to use that to encourage elders, aunties and grannies and other elders in the community to take that time off to mentor a young person because you do not know who you can end up, you know, really influencing. So she was a great influence yes. to us. Yes. Yes. Definitely. You all like our cups? Azar. Kathy, tell them what you're drinking in these Azar cups. What are we drinking? Well, we are drinking lime bud tea. Let me show you all. Country thing. Country girls, remember, we are from yes. deep country yes we definitely going to introduce you to some of the teas that we grew up on all right and this tea i heard it is good for constipation hmm. high blood pressure if you can't sleep in the night you can just draw some and drink as i said it is. but it's good for your health reasons we want to put a disclaimer though we are not doctors definitely not. but i also heard it's good for when you're vomiting when you're upset stomach Try the lime bar tea. So where are we getting all of this information from? Google. <laughs> <laughs> so you could check for yourself, all right? That's but right. You know, it tastes really, it tasted really, really good. This is tasting really good. Yeah. You know what? I know. Put in co the comments what you want us to try. It have fever grass. It have other teas that we use here in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, yes. So let us know what you want us to drink on the next episode, and we will try it for you. We have been friends so long, yes. and in this time of friendship, we have shared so much together. We have been good to each other. We have shared azar with each other because 
We encourage each other. Yes. We lend support. Yes. We have always been there. And in doing this, we were loyal to each other. Very loyal. Very, very loyal. So what's our topic for today, really? Richness in friendship. Mm -hmm. So why is it necessary then to have a friend? People say it is not necessary to have your friend because, like us, we are married. They say, let your husband be your friend. Or if you are not married, they say, let your sibling be your friend. But I believe a friend is necessary. A friend is necessary. Why? Because you're going to get an unbiased view, somebody who is not involved in the situation to talk, you know, to share it with. But let me give you an example. Say you're having a, a situation, something's hap something is happening, let's say, with your husband. And you go to share it, you might say, with your sister. And you, you tell your sister about it, and she takes your side in immediately. Because why are you treating my sister this way? And in her anger, she might say, why are you just going to leave that man? When really, if you talk to a friend, a friend who, a real friend, they would might give you an unbiased view and say, why don't you go for counseling? So it's very important to get people who are not invested to be your friend. It's very, very important. That's a good point to know. Because... If I ask my husband, I think I'll need to lose weight. He is boy, I like you so. But a friend not by us, like you would say, you'll lose some of them pong, lose some of them pong. That's right. So we need a friend. Definitely. We, we need, need a friend. friend. Yes. Everybody needs a friend. You know? And you know what I like about a friend? A friend will challenge you to be the best you. A friend will encourage you. A friend will pull you up and bring you to the place you're supposed to be. And that is what I like about friendship. Have. But that's what a real friend would do. That's right. That's right. Because there are some friends that they go up and they prefer to be up alone because it makes them feel really, really good about themselves. So we have to be very careful. There are things we must look at in the relationship and we are, is this a real friend? Because as you said earlier, a friend carries you with them when they're going. I like this story about this um, basketball player, James. What is his first name again? LeBron. Yes, he has a friend. The name of the friend is Rich Paul, and Rich Paul was a school friend. He had no money, nothing, but he said, you know what? I am not leaving my friend where he is, and he decided to make his friend his agent. And now he's one of the well-sought-after agents. He brought his friend up to his level, yeah. so his friend now making money. He's a billionaire, and James is a billionaire, all of us. He pulled his friend up to his level, yeah. and that is what true friends do. That's it, that's it, that's so they true. challenge you to be the best you and they don't just leave you and go about their business. Yes, yes. Another thing is a, a true friend uh, is there for emotional support. I can give an example of that. Only a few weeks ago I buried my mom and I had to do the eulogy and it, it I was doing well at first, you know. Yes, but you. somewhere along the line I started to break, you know, the the emotion and everything started to set in. And just then, I saw my friend walking up the aisle coming towards me. Everybody else was there, you know. But my friend, she knew something was happening. And before long, she was at the altar with her arms around me telling me, go girl, go girl, finish, you're doing good. I think she don't beat me up so much. I finish that in a breeze. You know, so it yes. was really, really good. You need friends, emotional support. Yes, that emotional support is even sometimes, not only with death, sometimes um, with your children too, Kati. Sometimes you need a little support in your marriage. And yes. sometimes even single people, they want support. I, I don't know what to do in my life. And they're looking for this emotional, emotional support. support. Yeah. And that is where a friend come in, yes, you know, and what I like about my friends, they are there for accountability. Mm -hmm. And I know earlier I mentioned about my weight. Yeah. You know, I've been running this race about my weight for a little while now. <laughs> and, you know, I will say, okay, we're going on diet this weekend or this month. I'm going to try something. And I will tell you. So that you will keep me accountable. That's right, that's right. Because some days are lapsing. I eating and I'm forgetting I'm not supposed to eat the meat. I'm forgetting to mix vegetables more. But when Katya and called, she said, What do you eat today? She said, Fall off the train. Yeah, yeah. And then after I pick myself up, 
and start to run again. Yeah. So accountability, a friend help you with that. Yes, yeah, so that, that accountability could also go spiritually. You know, you're checking on your mate, how you're going from your conversations, you realize what's happening with one another and you could stay, you know, what's happening with you, even with the Lord. So it's very important to have a good friend who is there to, you know, check some balances on you to help you stay on the, on the straight and narrow. This yes, cool. yes, yes. I like that. I like that. And you know what? Friends help you with your self-esteem. You know, I remember when we was growing up, me being young, unemployed, and Kathy Ann working, we loved to dress and go out. But remember, my mom was a single parent at the time. And um, every concert we want to go to, we didn't want to miss a concert. And, but I didn't have much clothes to go to all these concerts. And what Katyan will do to help me with my self-esteem, if she buy a skirt, she buy one for me. I remember this skirt. I can never forget this skirt. This style was in the, the, a thick waistband and it's floral or tiger pattern. I got the tiger pattern. It was yellow and brown. I could never forget it. And we wear a dress and she fix them up and she buy the earring. All of that helped me with my self-esteem. When I walk into the concert, I see the best thing out. But as a friend who yes. helped me. Yes, because not all friends, some friends want to stand out in the crowd. They want to look better than you. So they don't put they don't put that time in to see that you look well. Or do it compliment you to show you the areas to try to improve yourself for you to look good too. Because you know, and that is because there's some esteem issue in the friendship. Yeah. Right? yeah. If you have a friend and that friend don't want you to look good too, like how they are looking, you need to check that friendship. Yes, Definitely. yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Friends should want the best for you. Yes, and and a friend will really help you, you know, by encouraging you because sometimes you feel you're not the right size, and you wear something and you're not feeling comfortable. But when your friend encourage you and they help build your self esteem mm -hmm. and they tell you, girl, you're looking good still, or girl, you're not only in looking good, but sometimes when you do something, yeah. the friend could compliment you yes. instead of compete with you yes. and say, you did well there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start this thing and you did so good. Yeah. And all of that will help in your self-esteem. Yes, yes. And then a true friend is honest. True, a true. A true friend is honest. If you're not matching, they will tell you you're not matching. True, if true. Yes, they look like an old lady. They'll say something. They, they should say, say yes, yes, you know yes. Why? A true friend. Yes. Because they don't want people, when you go in down the road, people laugh at you and say you look like an old lady. Yes. Because you want your friend to represent. So that honesty is so important. In a friendship. In a friendship. Fair that enough? is true, that is true. Yeah. So we shouldn't lie to each other. We shouldn't. We if something is not right, we say it's not right. We try to be honest with one another. If we say we think it could do better, we should tell the friend. Yes. You could do better. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. I like that. Like yeah, that. There's one more thing I think I want to share. Um, I don't think a friend, a true friend is not a burden. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. A true friend is not a burden. If you're a burden, you will make your friend run. Because you know, some people emotionally, Katya, and they could be a burden. Yeah. Every day they're calling you with a problem. Yes, that means I'm not answering the phone. Yes, you're hiding. Yes, you're hiding from them. And so you're kind of almost being dishonest, which you don't want to be. Yes. Because what, by the time I finish with you, I feel like so depressed. You're emotionally toxic, drained. The toxic matter that come into me and the, the pessimistic conversation and everything Too much. is negative. If you know you're a negative person, a negative friend, I hope that you're listening to me. Because your friend don't want to hear your negativities. Every day. Every, every day. day. Now, every. If you have a problem, your friend is there to encourage you and to stand with you. Well, you can't have a problem every day. That every. means something definitely wrong. So in that way, you become a burden. Yes. And friends must not burden each other. They must not. No. They must not. And you know another way a friend could burden you too? Oh gosh, you know my husband coming home four o'clock. You know you calling me four o'clock? Yeah. Oh gosh, no. Don't put a burden on me for me now that I tell you. Oh God, give my husband here now. Oh, don't call me at four now. Yes, well, I used to have a problem with someone calling me every Sunday immediately after church. And we usually oh. set the table and have lunch together. Yeah. And I mean, the table is set. Are we ready to eat? And the phone would ring. And she'd say, hey, what's up? That's too I, much. I'm ready to eat. That's a burden. So I allowed it. I allowed it to pass for a while. And, and I would answer and answer. And then after, I stopped answering the phone. It's not I wanted to be discourteous. 
but it was too much a burden. You know, to tell what to make mm-hmm. her feel bad. So I just stopped answering the phone. So again, if you know that you are someone who do those things, try to pull back. And yes. To really add lightness to your relationship. Be True. a blessing to your friendship and not really dead weight. True. So true. You know, I like this, you know, because while this is happening, I am thinking, Aline, you better assess your own self, you know, because what? next thing I am a burden to my friends. Yes, yes. We have to do some introspection and see, am I a good friend or am I a burden to my friends? Yes, because I have this friend and her husband is off on every Thursday. And I say to myself, Aline, if her husband is off on a Thursday, try not to call her on a Thursday. And I do not call her on a Thursday yeah, yeah. because I work it out. So, you know, we have to try not to be a burden to our friends, try to work out our friends' schedules. And we too have to assess our friendships. Yeah. See if we are being good friends. Yeah. And we too will have to change the way we move, Katian. Yeah. Let me see if I'm burdening you. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> and it's never too late to change. Never. It's never. never too late. It's never too late to become a better friend. True. So today, we want to encourage you mm-hmm. to be a good friend. As a matter of fact, we want to encourage you to get a friend if you don't have one. True. And all those old ideologies that you don't need a friend, no man is an island. Everyone needs somebody. Body. That's right. To to. That's right. All right. So remember to tell a friend. Let them know that Azar is on. So like share subscribe and remember to press that notification bell see you on the next episode of azar